Uh, I want to tell you a story. Uh, about a year ago, I was coming back from the Dominican Republic, where I was lucky to be uh, with a group where we were uh, building houses for people that were uh, living in the dirt. And we come back uh, into the United States, and we were in New York City in the customs coming up to the baggage claim. I got in there and passed through, and I was standing in the back of the baggage claim area. And all of a sudden, this area that was about to be filled with people, all of a sudden this young family, uh, mom and dad, and not too much older than, than I am, uh, came running up to the baggage claim, and they had their two young kids with them. And they went running over to where you get those smart carts, you know, you get your smart cart out to put your luggage on. And the dad grabbed one, and the mom grabbed one, and they came running up, and the dad put the smart cart right up against the, the baggage carousel. And the mother took the other one and went all the way down here, about 12 feet down, and put that one up against the baggage carousel. And then quickly they started yelling at their young kids to spread out and form the wall. And the four of them as a family created this, this wall, this fortress, right around the baggage claim. And then you know what happened all of a sudden when that buzzer goes off, which for some reason we haven't come up with a better sound than that, that ah thing, you know. Anybody who's traveled, you know that, eh. and then all of a sudden, what happened? These hundreds and hundreds of people came into this space where this family had 12 feet of real estate that they had blocked off, and all of a sudden, people went running right up to the baggage car carousel as well, and they put their shins up against it, because that's evidently what we do, and we formed that human wall of entitlement, or fortress of entitlement, so that nobody can actually see the bags. And everybody sort of jostling back and forth, fighting one another, trying to claim their space and their bag. And I stood back from that, and I kept asking myself, what does this reveal about the way that we are choosing to move throughout the world? What is this saying about the way that we're choosing to move with one another in the everyday moments of our lives? In the spaces in the world where we're going different directions with different agendas, yet how is it that we choose to live with one another? And many of you know that uh, this, that was just a year ago, but it was not too long before that that I'd written books, stepped back from the baggage claim, about this very scene. And now I, I do a lot of speaking and I... Uh, meet with organizations and talk about how this image and this spirit comes to life and adds value to the culture that they're trying to create and what they do. But that in that moment, that maybe we all need a step back from the baggage claim. And that maybe stepping back from the baggage claim in our lives is really about stepping back from what we think is ours in moments when we think and we get too focused on what we think we need, maybe stepping back from the baggage claim is about seeing a different perspective, the bigger perspective. Maybe stepping back from the baggage claim in our lives is really about including other people. Maybe stepping back from the baggage claim in our lives is really about putting a spirit of service, of servant leadership in the, to motion in the world Instead of entering those spaces, those hectic, frustrating, chaotic spaces of our everyday lives out of a spirit of entitlement. I wonder if maybe we're in need of a step back from the baggage claim. Because the fact of the matter is, is that all of us are running in our lives at a very fast pace right now. I think all the things that you've been hearing today, the technology that we're using, we're racing from one place to the next. We're trying to race through our to-do lists. We live in a fast food culture and a culture that, that really honors busyness. I was in Seattle just, uh, just recently uh, to speak at a conference, and I was out before the conference, and I was walking around the streets in the bustling city of Seattle, and everybody's going different directions with different agendas, and everybody's racing from place to place to place. And as I came around this corner, all of a sudden I almost get run over. I go jumping back as this police officer on a Segway comes ripping around the corner and is texting at the same time <laughs> as he's going downhill the steep streets of Seattle. 
And I wondered maybe in the busyness, fast-paced, hectic, everyday moments of our lives, are we even aware that maybe we're distracted? Are we even aware that maybe we're not moving throughout the world with the spirit that we would like to? Maybe it's in those moments of our everyday lives where we're racing too quickly that we need to step back from the baggage claim and think about why we're doing what we do. Who is it that we really want to be in the world? What kind of spirit do I want to share with those that I'm traveling with? I need to share with you a step back moment from my own life. Years ago, I had the great privilege of leading a small group of people to the Casa Hogar Sion Orphanage in Tijuana, Mexico. And on this trip, it was our first day there, and our group of about 20 people were standing around in a circle as Mama Carmen, Carmen Gonzalez, was standing with us and telling us about the last three babies that had just come to the orphanage. And she said, you know, the first baby, the mother had the baby in the hospital, then put her clothes back on, snuck out of bed, and went out the door, leaving the baby in the hospital. The second mother had the baby in the hospital, snuck out of bed, put her clothes back on, went walking out the front door, put the baby on the ground, and walked out into the streets. The third mother had the baby in the hospital, snuck out of bed, put her clothes back on, went walking out the front door, and went walking over to the dumpster and put the baby in the dumpster. And right in the midst of this very thick, heavy moment as we crowded around with each other and our arms around each other, and our eyes were welling up with tears, and we were listening to Mama Carmen tell us about this. And all these things were swirling in our minds and in our hearts about, how could this be? How could in this world that happen? This anger, this frustration. And all of a sudden in the middle of that, you could see over Mama Carmen's shoulder. And you could see kids running on the playground and you could hear kids playing games and all of a sudden it was abundantly clear how fortunate these kids were to make their way to this place how amazing it was that there were people in this world that are willing to go into the dumpsters of our world to serve another person. It was in the midst of that step back, one of many step back moments in my life, for me to think about who is it that I want to be in this world? What do I have to be thankful for? What is it that I want to do to serve? Maybe how am I going to choose to try to remind myself every day about how I want to move throughout the world. Today is a step back from the baggage claim for all of us. Stepping back from the busyness of our everyday lives. But this isn't about airports only, although I do want to literally change the world in the airport around the baggage claim. Please join me. But this isn't about only about airports. And this isn't about an orphanage in Tijuana. But that's, this is about what are we going to choose to do from the minute we stand up from our seats today. That today is not about drive through inspiration. Today is not about a collection of amazing stories and amazing people. Today is about connecting the human family. 
is about all of us together choosing to move throughout the world with a different spirit. It's about us choosing today, right now, to walk out those doors and think about the way that we're going to choose to interact with one another as we get our cups of coffee, as we rush to the taco truck, as we move out into the parking lots. And then the spirit that we choose to share with the baggage claims the metaphorical baggage claims that we stand around with our families, in our communities, in our businesses and organizations. And ultimately, this is about the spirit that we choose to put into the world around the baggage claim of our world. There's a quote that I heard this week from the poet Eugene Ware uh, that has knocked me off my seat. He said, all glory comes from daring to begin. All glory comes from daring to begin. What gets me fired up and excited on this day as we wrap up an amazing day with amazing ideas worth spreading, but what gets me excited is about all of the ways in which, in little ways, we are going to dare to begin. That from this day forth, this moment forth, how are we going to dare to begin to not just put our gifts into action in the world, but how are we going to choose to put a spirit of gratitude, compassion, and servant leadership into action in the world so that in small ways, we can dare to begin and begin to find solutions in the world of health care, like we've heard today. Sustainability, a hot house of creativity in our schools, on the streets of our lives. How is it that we choose to intersect with one another? And what spirit? do we choose to put into motion in the world? And I can guarantee you this, that every single time when we choose to put that relatedness, when we choose to relate to one another, to care for one another, not just in the world of health care, but in our everyday relationships and even with the strangers on our streets, those small moments do in fact change the world. And I hope, I invite you that when you leave today, I hope and I dare you to begin. And maybe the next time you're standing around that crowded metaphorical baggage claim or that literal baggage claim in the airport, a crowded one that's just a frenzy of people going different directions with different agendas. Or you're standing around that metaphorical baggage claim in your business, in your family, in your community, in your school, in your church. I hope you'll remember the impact that you can make. And maybe you too will believe that we can change the world. And I'll meet you at the baggage claim. Thank you for listening.